the hands side. DJ, give me more. Report to dance floor, yeah. Hands high. DJ, give me more. Back down, report to dance floor. This is the hands side. DJ. I'm here chilling with Fresh Song TV. We're in my beautiful city, Copenhagen. Happy to invite you guys. Happy for y'all watching. Stay alert. Fresh Song TV. David J, aka David Jada. Uh, my mother is Danish and my father's from West Africa, the Gambia. Beautiful place, the smiling coast of Africa. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> you don't know. Yeah, man. So that's what it is, man. Copenhagen breed bred it, man. So you know, we 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 from out here, man. We love the Copenhagen city. But yeah, man, Africa is in my roots. Deep. Very, deep. very, very deep. Some a lot of people don't know about me. I used to, I used to play basketball at a really high level. Actually, a knee injury took me um, took me away from playing basketball and actually got me into started DJing. Actually, because uh, I came home, I had a whole bunch of music. I knew some promoters. Started doing my little 40, 40 minute sets, one hour sets, and uh, I started getting more interested into the music. And after DJing for a while, getting my contacts up, I thought, let me try and just just do my own song. Let me let me let me see where it takes me. Uh, that led to two thousand and eleven where we went to Malmö, Sweden, and we shot a music video for the song I did called Dance With You, um, which actually six months into it, after releasing it, I found out that Swedish radio uh, picked it up in Malmö, Sweden. So shouts out to Dean Got The Radio, man. Kind of use the same the same grind that you use, I don't know, as a DJ or, or, you know, it's basically having a network, trying to connect with people in different ways. Um, when, when I first started DJing, I think what made me different was I would go to London, I would go to uh, I would go to Paris, I would go to the U.S. and I would see how DJs would perform, how would DJs do their set, how would they pick up the microphone, not scared to get the crowd involved, controlling the crowd. And I think that's just one of the things that you could say that you got to have some type of confidence to just jump out and just grab grab the microphone. But a lot of times, it's just practice. I, I can probably say that I failed more times that I've succeeded. So, so you know, for, 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 for whoever it is, most successful people in the world, they fail a lot. So, you, know, you, you gotta, sometimes you gotta take chances. You gotta try and be creative and try to do something different. So, yeah, man, here we are, it's, it's, it's 2018. Music is going well. Um, touring. <laughs> uh, today we have a show in Copenhagen. Uh, Salam Shalom Festival. They booked me last year. They booked me back again. So you know, I'm glad to be here, man. It's a, it's a good look. It's Copenhagen. It's my city. The weather's nice today. You know, right now we're at the canal. It's like a, this is like a legendary place here, man. You, know, you get on your little boat ride and it takes you around Copenhagen and it shows you, shows you what Copenhagen is really looking like, man. So this is a beautiful place, man. Fresh Style of music, or the flavor of my music, is, uh, is I, I, I would never say it's hard to describe. It's actually quite easy. It's just from a feeling. It comes from a feeling. It can be it can be anything that inspires me. It can be uh, when I used to be a DJ. I used to play some 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 classic '90 R&B songs. It could be something in that song. Like, okay, wow, that feeling. I gotta try and recapture that feeling. It could be uh, when I was young. My dad used to take me to this park in Copenhagen where he used to call it African Sunday. Every Sunday used to be a whole bunch of Africans playing football. My uncle had a, had a, had a grill over there. And I remember I remember just passing by a car and they was mm. listening to like really old school raga music like Shabarangs and you know, Buchu Bantan and all this kind of stuff. And I was like, wow, this is cool. You know, I would love to be able to rap like Buchu Bantan or be able to rap like Shabarangs. But... So it just got to the point where it's, it's, it's not that one certain genre, it's not that one certain style. It's anything can inspire me to do any kind of music. And it's just, I would say, probably the number one thing is, is like I'm saying, the feeling. The feeling has to be good. I want to be able to, when people listen to the song, whether they know my, my artist name or they really understand the lyrics, they can say, okay, I feel like I'm getting a good vibe from this song. I would say that that's, that's definitely it. Wow, I yeah. get inspired by so many people. I get inspired by by Usher. I get inspired Usher. by Michael Jackson. I get inspired by uh, Wizkid. I get inspired by Music Soul Child. I get inspired by 
man, so many people. Lionel Richie, The Temptations. I mean, there's so many different artists, groups, producers, songwriters that inspire me. So, unfortunately, there's not just that one. So many. <laughs> yeah, man, David J is in a relationship. I'm in a loving relationship, man, uh, with my girlfriend. We're living together here in Copenhagen. Beautiful, man. Everything is good. Everything is blessed. I'm a happy guy, eating good, I'm living good, so yeah. no complaints. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right now, um, right now we, we I was we was playing a lot of festivals over the summer. So now the summer's over, we just got a I got a little bit left. And then right now we're setting up the winter tour in Germany right now, the club tour in Germany, which is coming up. That's gonna be from around October and just ongoing. And then uh, we're going to Africa for the winter. So December, January will be in Africa. Uh, yeah, right now, you know, we have Hands High, my new single, which is pushing hard, man. So thanks to everybody yeah. for supporting, you know, number one, I can't get nothing without you guys. So thank you guys for supporting. So yeah, man, Hands High is moving. But yeah, we're working on uh, we're working on a few things. Remix is an EP coming out. Uh, working with some UK producers, also working with some great, great, great artists from the UK. So uh, we're trying to push, we're trying to build some bridges, we're trying to keep the things moving. Uh, I did a song with Charlie Black, it's called Show Your Wine. Mm. That was a big accomplishment for me. Right now we are, we're in negotiations with Fat Man Scoop uh, to do something. Also from the UK, uh, Flip Tunes Music, Palms and Flavor, for anybody who knows, uh, you know, the, the, the Afrobeat scene, Palms and Flavor from the UK, pick up them. Uh, yeah, and I just came back from the UK, I met with Jules and also met with Guilty Beats, so you never know what can happen. Never know. Fresh Zone TV, you know what it is, man. Big up, man. Thanks to you guys for following me today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you follow them on Instagram, social media. Make sure you get on the YouTube. Make sure you subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Myself, David J. Make sure you get at me on Instagram. Follow me on Spotify. Let's keep it moving, man. Good vibes only. Keep it moving. Much love.